Today we're on the island of Tutuila in American Samoa in search of an animal that composes a quarter of all the mammalian species on our planet. There's also 1,000 different species of this animal and it's also the only flying mammal. It's not the flying squirrel because those don't actually fly, they glide. It's the bat. Here in American Samoa we have two types of fruit bats and one type of smaller insectivorous bat. You'll notice that it's not completely dark yet. Well, fruit bats are actually more active during dusk and dawn when there's still a little bit of light because they don't use echolocation. They find their fruit by smell and sight. If we're lucky, we're gonna get up into this forest here and hopefully we'll get a close encounter with this wild animal. We've been in the rainforest now for about 45 minutes walking through, looking for the bats. You can see them circling up above but we haven't gotten close to one low enough to get a good enough shot. The sun's about to go down. It's probably gonna be dark in about an hour or so. So I'm hoping we're gonna get a shot pretty soon here. We have an insular flying fox over here, one of the two species of flying fruit bats that we here have here in American Samoa. Check it out. In Samoan, this bat is called Pea Fanua, or land bat. It's more common of the two species found here. If you notice, the bat is chewing the fruit, sucking the juices, then spitting the fibers out in a pellet. This one's just an adolescent. As adult, these flying foxes get up to a kilo in weight. Their wingspan will get up to a meter in length, allowing the animal to ride thermals like a hawk. Although they have a bad reputation, fruit bats actually provide an important service for us in the forest. As they forage through the night, fruit bats pollinate flowers and distribute seeds. Some of the flowers they pollinate include mangoes, coconuts, and papayas. Here on Tutuila, fruit bats have been known to fly up to 40 kilometers in a single night. Throughout their flight, they can distribute up to 60,000 seeds. Fruit bats have played an important role in the culture of Samoa. For example, it is believed that Nafanua, the war goddess, was once stranded on an inhospitable island. It was the fruit bats that came and rescued her off the island. Fruit bats were also an important protein source for the local islanders, but today, because of their dwindling numbers, it is banned. The fruit bats are now conserved by law. 